Welcome back, guys. We're gonna go uh, go get Chloe's morphine injector. Injector, but first I'm gonna go check out these drawers. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Nothing but medical supplies. All right, let's go upstairs. Didn't look at this board yet. It's Mr. nice my parents sent a card at least. Postcard. Chloe, you know... Wait, I'm gonna read it. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you. If you need anything, I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XOXO Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. This is from Max. Chloe just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lumb I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Guess I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love Matt. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Victoria. Max, are we cool? I just want to make sure since you walked away so fast, Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk to me, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence, so if you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. This is very weird. <laughs> Hope you don't forget the what? Okay. Hey Max. Okay, so I haven't read these yet. I... Yeah, I wasn't able to read these in episode 3. Uh, hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. I saw, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. <laughs> uh, that's for Chloe. Chloe got a buttload of homework. March 27th. Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Hey, Chloe. Max in here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that is so awesome. You rule. As of all, we can hang again. So yes, this is still my number. Cool. I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. And whatever that face is. Happy face. It's from Nathan. Uh, very different. Yo, yo, Ma Max, you around in a dark room developing shots for the contest? Sweet. So no two whales for, for you? Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. wonder if he's still a dick in this reality. From Taylor. Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants to see her daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom's a badass like you. Yeah, yeah right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die. So... Call me back from Co from Max. So haven't read Dad's yet. Hey, it was just the birthday one. Okay, that's it. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Dear Mr. Price, this letter is to notify you that you are in default of your payment obligate obligations on your home loan account 783. This current account holds the amount of 12000 payable by August 1st, 2013. This amount has been overdue since March 1st, 2009. Wow. And you have ignored multiple requests to make a payment or recon re reconsolidate your debt. Unless the full amount of 12000 is received within 15 days, we must begin to foreclosure process for closure process on your home. We have given you more than adequate notice on this issue and we have no other options left. Best Donald Clamp lenders. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Okay, beach whales looking for the whales. 
Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lowly gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of grey whales that inexplicably swamp, swam the land. Swam? Is that a word? And to their doom. Yeah. The whale paws were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours at least half a dozen were dead on, or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Oh. It goes to the next is page. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Search for popular teen continues. Blackwell honor student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months, yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for the 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have, have a few leads and little information in the case, which has caught the interest of the national reality show Where Did They Go? The Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. For more details, please contact that. Okay, talk to Daddy. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I... I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I get it. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But uh, Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, terrific. Okay, so Prescott family, I guess Nathan is still a dick. If he considers the Prescott family evil. And Joyce isn't working at the diner anymore, she's working at for the Prescott family. Eiffel Tower. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh, I could rewind.
Hold on. Make this easier. There we go. I should look at more stuff just in case a new conversation. I could get a new conversation starter. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Eighty-five thousand. Only eight thousand five hundred eighty-seven dollars. Damn. Hey, William. Um, I know. Good. Uh, just to get I these over with. You should be. He's built. Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Okay, I'm... just get these out of the Me way. Too. She... Will... I know. Being around... Very... I was re- oh. Nobody know. The pr- e so. More. <laughs> Okay. Look around some more. These bills should all just say, dear sir. Choices of food coupon, boss. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. I love cookies. Uh, I feel like a cookie now. I want a cookie. Hook, line, and sinker. S kicking robot leg. Missing donuts. Um, uh, go check in here. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Oh, oh, right. I'm kind of confused on the order of the house now, because this used to be the, well, in the other reality, that her stepdad's area. I got, conf I got confused there for a second. <laughs> okay, so upstairs. So what is her room upstairs now? Like, what did they do with it? They're drowning in debt, just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, your joint account has been closed and is now six months overdue. Please send a check or money order for $3,458 payable to Happy Credit Card. Dear Mrs. Price, due to recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of, wow, 1250 per week. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Alright, head upstairs. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Yeah, this is her room. Old room. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. 
They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up, and I've been, and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. I guess we stopped growing up together. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Time for reflection. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Let's go check somewhere else. Look around some more. Nothing here. This is the washroom. I guess that's where Chloe's stuff is. This is, uh... It's all about you, Arcadia Bay. Isn't it? Here's, uh, William and Joyce's room, I guess. Oh, there's Joyce. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This account for a recent am anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed her to... I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had in my... and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Dr. Ant Anton Fibs Fives. Okay, let's talk to Joyce. I guess she smokes, or did she smoke before? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just Joyce is already a super mom. Super mom. Oh. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Okay, so she didn't smoke in the other reality. What's on this side? William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Good morning, Max. 
Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but... Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just... curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care. For Chloe's sake. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. All right. Uh, to the washroom. Finally got her stuff. And take it down to her. It's really dark. Can I turn on a light? There we go. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Alright, let's go downstairs. Turn off the light.
I definitely have to take a third job. Just shoot me now. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop it here. In the next part, we'll give the morphine to Chloe and see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hold on. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV and they use her shitty tube television. Uh, I think that's all that's left to look at. See you guys.